Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, is it going? Are you going to mess with titles today? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought, I thought you were reading. You know, it's, you know it's live when an ad starts playing. Now remember, Diana is in full control of what's happening. And I think that, you know, when it starts streaming live, people are tuned in, the ad starts playing right away. At least that I know of. This is, this is what I've been uh, told from people who are watching it live, uh, even though I am, I'm not watching it live. I'm, I'm doing it live that I know of. You, you keep tapping buttons. Are you... Are you are you messing with it further? Are you you you're gonna pull up titles, aren't you? She's gonna figure out how to use the Wirecast broadcaster for uh, for YouTube. Where's what, honey? You had a banner. Uh oh. I don't. I have no idea what happened to it. Oh, I'm sorry. She can see a preview of what I'm doing down there. So, everybody, thank you for joining us for another live TLDR. Uh, we are still kind of feeling our way through these new live broadcasts. And I say new because, yes, even though we've been doing the Locker Gnome Daily Report for a while now, we've got, what, 5,000-some-odd videos, my vlogs, also affectionately dubbed Perilogs, you know, it's like vlogs, they're Perilogs. Because Perillo logging, Perillo logging, Perillogging. Prologue. Is it is that a stupid name? Is it a smart name? Do we need to change the name? We can change the name. We can always change the name. But the feedback's been just amazing, despite what the name is. We got like 400 some on likes on the first one, and the one that we uploaded uh, today uh, is tracking extremely well. Uh, so apparently y'all want me to be a vlogger. You're saying, ah, forget the technology thing. Just be a vlogger. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. Like, it, it's, it's made me question whether or not uh, we should even be talking about technology on a daily basis. Even though I like it. I enjoy it. It's a part of me. It's what I want to do professionally. Uh, more people want me to do things that make me look less professional. It's kind of the bottom line, really. <sighs> Hang on. Is something, is something below me? Did something pop up here? Are you, you're, she's learning how to use software. Boy, you teach her how to use, I, actually, I didn't even teach her how to use iMovie. She just picked it right up. I'm adding your name. She's adding my name right now. Uh, you don't make an effort to see our comments, do you? Uh, ask Latino Alex 5 uh, No, I don't. Uh, I really do not. Oh, wait. I just did! Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and welcome uh, Bridget, uh, Mohammed, JR89, Carl Conyers, Creighton, Chris Smith, Bizarro One, Ed, C. Condon, Carl Conyers again. He's that good to be mentioned twice there. And Carl made an appearance in yesterday's vlog. He probably didn't even realize it until he watched it this morning. Uh, DFTBA, uh, Ben Tar, Brian M, Nathan Y, Rick Brett, Tech Guru, Kirk Grames, uh, and the rest of the uh, cast from Nomies. Uh, and then, of course, those of you on uh, YouTube, including 19 the Legend 96 who says, he does. He, he's right. I do. Uh, I do respond to this stuff. The comments are being viewed. Law says, uh, Xanavier F. That sounded naughty, Chris. Says, imbalanced by design. Well, sorry about that. There's always going to be one bad word that disliked this, says V8Boy53. Indeed, but, you know, haters going to hate. That's all they can do. Uh, you know, you, you got you to keep in mind that they hate something, and it's usually themselves, not the things that they're they're watching or experiencing, really. So, hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the live video feed. Thank you for your seemingly undying support. Uh, this has been an amazing turn for me, uh, the, the whole vlogging adventure. I've been doing live streaming for a while. Of course, Locker Gnome for even longer. Uh, and uh, still can uh, will continue to produce these live videos uh, centric on technology, the Locker Gnome Daily Report, TLDR. We've got a handful of articles on LockerGnome.com, but my hope with how TLDR evolves, well, yes, we'll talk about the articles that we've posted to Locker Gnome, the links that are in the video's description, but uh, I also hope to answer a lot more of your questions as we talk about these topics. Answer your questions. Uh, and then also possibly cover the day's news if it wasn't already covered in uh, what we had posted on to uh, LockerGnome.com. So uh, we've got a handful of articles today. Windows 8 versus Windows 8 Pro. 
is the first link there in the uh, video's description. And if you can't see the links or you can't see the description, you're possibly on the wrong page. The easiest way to get to the right page where you can see the links and everything is, uh, all you have to do uh, is head over to my Google Plus account and click the link that we, we already shared. Or you can head over to my Facebook account uh, and I'm going to share that link directly as well there so that uh, you can just easily click it click it and pop over to the page and then i'm going to go ahead and tweet it out too so now it's pretty much everywhere uh, and while i'm at it i'm going to like the video as well just you know to be a good citizen press g plus one and say wow i don't know why i'm saying wow really no one else is going to be wowed when they see it pop up on the on google plus if you're using google plus congratulations so uh, uh, beyond Windows 8 versus Windows 8 Pro, we're going to be covering uh, an article, uh, Why Google's Phone First Carrier Second Model Should Be the Standard. Very cogent uh, story there. Human responsibilities on the virtual frontier. The social web is distributed, so how should we manage it? Those are two separate articles. Top 10 paid aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Might be interesting for those of you who like uh, uh, flight sims. Seven years later, a YouTube special. And then, of course, i got to make mention of our backlink of the day from Chip Dizzard. Or Chip Dizard, not exactly sure how you say that uh, that name. Uh, I, I guess that's his last name or part of his last name, and Chip is his nickname. Uh, he linked back to the Locker Gnome article, uh, you know, with a discussion around what a browser is. So we appreciated uh, that he did that and uh, have given him the uh, backlink uh, of the day. And all you have to do to be considered a backlink of the day is link back to us. One of the articles that we post to uh, LockerGnome.com. Uh, one radical dude there on YouTube says G plus people are loyal even if they're not in the biggest numbers that is true uh already plus one thank you one radical dude i'm a professional flight sim pilot and a real world pilot i have comments on the top 10 paid ac thing when we get there thank you uh, zanavier f i will be uh, returning then to your comments google drive is something that i do want to cover uh, today as well uh, if you guys did not catch the news google has just launched their virtual drive this is basically an easier way of getting to Google Docs, but also a way you can share files more easily with everybody. Google Docs has been there forever. In fact, that's how I, I be, become accustomed to sharing files back and forth. Huge fan of Google Docs. Uh, in fact, I pay Google, what is it, $50 a year for 80 gigs worth of storage. Uh, and even though I've, I've never really used it, it's just the fact that I had all my photos on Picasa, used Google Docs, even though I don't use Google Docs all that, uh, you know, as much as I, as I could, I'm thinking about decreasing the amount that I spend uh, on the, the Google, I guess, storage service. You can get up to 16 terabytes worth of storage on Google Drive. Uh, you'd have to pay about $800, but you can get, what is it, 5 gigs for free today. Uh, head over there, drive.google.com. It's also connected to uh, docs.google.com. And if you're not aware, uh, you can do that. If you already had a Microsoft SkyDrive account, that's a completely separate cloud account, uh, you get up to 25 gigs for free. Now, if you're just new to SkyDrive, I guess you don't get that much. But here's the thing. Uh, Dropbox, you can get cloud storage uh, for free, and you can get even more storage if you uh, you know use the referral system. If you've never heard of Dropbox, go.tagjag.com slash Dropbox is a, a referral account. So if you sign up through that account, that, that link that I, I just shared, Diana will get the credit because she's now on Dropbox and she's editing the vlogs that we're doing on a daily basis. Uh, Google Drive, uh, there is uh, SkyDrive. You know, th there's so many options for you to use. Google Drive is, is good. Uh, I did not turn on the option to synchronize Google Docs with my local folder. Not really interested in that. I mean, my Google Docs are an absolute mess, but I use them every day. I want to keep that stuff in the cloud. I don't want to touch it on a local computer. But it's nice to know to transfer files back and forth from the desktop I could use that. I will likely continue to use Dropbox because uh, it is simple. Uh, it's been around for a while. Uh, I have enough space on it for free. Uh, that you know, I've never run into any uh, massive issues, so I've never paid for anything. SkyDrive could be interesting as well. Um, there's a nice uh, client for uh, OS 10 as well as iOS. Uh, you know, I, I may end up for the larger files and the videos from the mobile devices. I may end up using SkyDrive uh, for uploading over Dropbox on the mobile devices, SkyDrive or uh, Google Drive, because Dropbox limits you in terms of how much you could upload on the mobile device versus how you uh, how much you upload directly from their desktop client. So no matter which one you choose, here's the thing. You don't really have to choose one. You can you can choose all of them. 
uh, and use them for different uh, reasons. They're giving you the space for free, making it easy to synchronize between the cloud and your local machines, potentially even your mobile devices. Dropbox, though, is 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 not just a win because uh, it, it works and it works well. Uh, it's it's supported by Linux, so you can get uh, Dropbox for Linux. I don't know if uh, Google has uh, done Linux support yet for the drive, which is odd. I could be wrong, but if I saw the breakdown correctly uh, in, in comparisons, uh, Dropbox seems still to be a, a great way to go. Google Docs, if you already have a Google account, 5 gigs free, up to uh, 25 gigs free on Microsoft SkyDrive if you already had a SkyDrive account, which I did. So you got to go there, log in, and convert. Make sure you do that. Log into your Microsoft SkyDrive account. Uh, just, a, just an update. Some value to throw in there. Uh, we didn't really cover that uh, in any article today, but uh, it was, uh, I would say, pretty big news. Uh, running out of free space on Dropbox, really. Uh, I, anytime I run out of space, and I use Dropbox temporarily, really. We use it for transferring videos back and forth. It has a great land sync uh, so I can synchronize between different computers, like usually my uh, notebook computer, the primary notebook computer that's running the live stream now. Uh, and then uh, I even set up Oh, Google Drive's an Ubuntu software now. Thank you, uh, Hedgecliff Edge. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure. Uh, the, apparently, the the chart that I saw wasn't uh, wasn't accurate. JD twenty seven oh nine nine two says Perlogs is amazing. Thank you. But Perlogs is spelled like my last name with a G on the end. You can call it Perlo G's. It's Perlog Perlo G. Uh, oh, and you can get the G Drive as an Android app and an iOS app, by the way. Uh, Luke Spray is here on YouTube, says Diana's editing is amazing. I believe there's a GladNet cloud thingy that connects with your multiple cloud accounts. Oh, that would be nice to have just, like, one to rule them all. Yeah, gangster. Yeah, I'm so gangster. I don't know if anybody's noticed how white I am lately. Lately? As if, you know, I was never not white. Okay, so what else did you guys want to cover today? Uh... Every Subject 100 said, just saw your vlog. It's awesome. Well, thank you very much. What's up, Chris and Diana? I, Adam Trailer there on YouTube. Uh, we're doing well. I, Adam Trailer is also a Nomi. I don't know. He may be too busy to, to pop into the chat room here, but uh, <clears throat> Ice Ice Perillo. No, that's Perillo G. <laughs> Perillog. Actually, we should. It's they're Perillogs, but should the G be silent? We just call them Perillo? And the. It's Perillo. Perillo. There we go. It's not Perillog. That just sounds so German. Dalby watch the Perillog. Uh, Chris, Brooklyn, New York City, appreciate you. Thank you, Adderow Tubes. I appreciate you as well there on YouTube. Uh, Google Glasses says Paraplane 7077. Uh, yeah, I don't have any, nor does anybody else. So we'll talk about them when you know there's actually something to talk about rosie says i love you thank you i love you too chris made a rather verbose comment on the paid aircraft post oh okay thank you very much get diane in here says cute dookie and i mispronounced that handle the other day i thought it was cute donkey dookie is something that we probably won't be vlogging at any point Really. We were invited uh, to dry soda, honey. We were? Yeah, you know the cucumber dry soda that I drank? And it showed up in my vlog yesterday. I tweeted out to dry soda. I said, hey, you know, maybe I should get dry soda and John Howie Steakhouse to be sponsor. And then they he reached out. I guess he's already a Locker Gnome subscriber. So he may be having us to go down there to do a taste test. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can get, hey, if, if maybe we can get, uh, uh, you know, more dry soda. And bring them along. You guys can will vlog the uh, taste test. We'll tell you Maybe. The Maybe. See, because, you know, that's that's some pretty good exposure for them. A lot of people would probably buy the dry soda if they saw it. If they saw me drinking it, you know they're all going out right now and they're buying little stormtroopers to carry around with them to take photos of wacky things. Did you guys see but that? you really love it. Like, you, you like it. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I genuinely do. I Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Dry uh, Cucumber dry soda is tasty. It's my favorite of all the dry sodas. I, the reason why I was saying Stormtrooper, because I, I Instagrammed this earlier. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, it's on my Instagram account, Chris Perillo. I also posted it to Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo, the Twitter account, Google. Well, actually, did I put this on Google Plus? I don't think I did. Anyway, 121 likes. <sighs> on on Instagram, at least. That's a 
that's pretty good, I think. It's fun to take the Stormtrooper along. Uh, let's see here. Geeky Drinks. Indeed. Geeky Drinks. Love the prologue. Was watching that before coming here. Thank you, Blue Monkey 519 Appreciate that. Uh, and uh, Chris, why should I join Nomi's? I have the cash. Just need telling what are the perks. Luke Spray is here. Really, Nomi's is uh, for those who are uh, business-minded and love talking business and making money online. That's kind of this group here, uh, largely at this point. Uh, almost... We have 400 to 500 of them and just uh, launched a couple of months ago. See, because I've got, there are many sides to Chris Perillo. There is the very white side. Uh, there's a side of me that you're going to see in tomorrow's vlog. I have a zit somewhere in my body that I was not expecting. Uh, that will be uh, making its debut uh, in the, the next vlog, the next Perillog. Perillog. And, uh, so, you know, for Nomi's, that, that, that's my business side. Uh, Locker Gnome's kind of my geeky side. Perillo, is, uh, the Perillo vlog, whatever the hell it is, is my personal side. This is my live side. I have many sides. I'm, I'm multidimensional. I'm in a different dimension right now, as a matter of fact. You didn't know that, but it's, it's absolutely true. Thank you for the 196 people who are watching live now. And... For the 71 likes on this live video. By the way, you have a great name. My name is Chris too. Well, thank you. I think uh, I'm, I'm a bit attached to uh, to Chris. It's just kind of a personal thing. Uh, Nomi's grows faster than my hair. Well, as long as you're not bald, we're good to go. Pierogi. Yes, we love pierogies. I remember we had, I think, pierogi. Pierogi. I never really. They're like it's like a bread with meat yeah. stuffed in it. I have a feeling we're going to be doing. Uh, more food in the vlogs. You're going to see, what does Chris eat on a daily basis? And lunch will be making an appearance tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Dang, are you playing with a... She's playing with effects, isn't she? What are you doing? I have no... Honestly, guys, I can't see what the hell she's doing. So I don't know. Are you just... You're randomly popping up little charts... With random zigzags and really, <laughs> I don't. I can't see. Everyone's telling me. I look here, and they're they're telling me what what's going on here. So, uh, I could be bad mouthing. Yes, you could be bad mouthing me, and let's 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 hope you don't. Uh, Windows eight versus Windows eight Pro. Now, this is a big deal, guys. Uh, you're gonna be making this decision at some point in the very near future. If you um have Windows now, uh, you can stick with Windows. Cool, but uh, maybe you are thinking about upgrading to Windows eight. You don't know which Windows 8 you want to go with because there's at least two flavors titled Windows 8. There's Windows 8 versus Windows 8 Pro. So the differences uh, we've outlined in the article is linked in the video description. Thank you for uh, sharing that, by the way, if you did share the article link with all the people following you. Uh, let's see here. BitLocker and BitLocker to go. Uh, so it looks like uh, there is the option between the two. Oh, that's... BitLockers for Windows 8 Pro only. Wow, okay. Yeah, so if you want BitLocker, you probably want to go with Windows 8 Pro. And that's important, again, encryption. You, you want to keep your data safe. So let's say you lose that computer. Uh, you know, someone without the key wouldn't be able to, to crack it. Uh, boot from VHD or a virtual hard disk. Oh, cool. That's kind of awesome. So you could basically boot from... Wow, that's really neat. Uh, so you can have multiple... Uh, virtual hard disks of Windows 8 or other virtual hard disks to boot from. So let's say you had a, a version of Windows that you optimized for a certain type of experience and another version of Windows you optimized for another type of experience. You could easily boot between those uh, from a, a VHD. Or you could get someone else's VHD and boot from that. That's kind of neat. Uh, and in, in line with that, uh, they have client Hyper-V support, of, like virtualization technology that basically means it, it'll run faster. Uh, because uh, the, the hardware is uh, is built with virtualization in mind, and that was previously just available for server editions of Windows. Now they're bringing it to, I guess, the whole, you know, entire Windows 8 Pro user base. Uh, encrypting file system or EFS. That's new. It's a lot like BitLocker, except for it operates on the file and folder level instead of requiring the entire drive be encrypted. So file folder encryption. Uh, domain join important if you're a part of a network. Group policy again, part of a network. Remote desktop hosting 
you know, that's that's important for some people, but you know, I've I've used a VNC and other uh, technology like uh, from Citrix, GoToAssist, um, and GoToManage specifically. Upgrades from Windows 7 Professional and Ultimate. Uh, you need to upgrade to Windows 8 Pro. Windows 8 can only be upgraded from a home or basic version of Windows 7. That's something important to note. So we outlined a couple of other notes uh, as well there in the article, Windows 8 versus 8, uh, Windows 8 Pro. Matt did a lot of research on that, and we really appreciated that post. So those of you curious about Windows 8, uh, you may want to check it out. Greetings from Peru, says I it m 55 Thank you, Peru. What about Mountain Lion? Hey, why are Macy's forgot? Mackey's forgot? Is it Mackey's? Well, we'll talk about Mountain Lion as soon as you know we know more about it, because we already did before. Jason Stevenson asks for opinions on Google Drive, and we talked about that already in this video. You may need to rewind after it's gone live. Um, Windows 7 has been my best experience with Microsoft so far. Okay, now that's you know kind of important, I think, for everybody to note. You know, if, if you're happy with what Windows gives you now, there's no need to upgrade. The only uh, absolute i can say uh that you, you would want to be on windows 8 is if you have or windows rt or windows 8 pro whatever uh the next generation of windows is if you are having uh, uh experiences with a, a tablet computer a tablet pc uh, not likely an older tablet pc a newer one it's pretty much only going to come with windows 8 i would not buy a tablet pc with windows 7 on it that would be monumentally stupid because windows 7 wasn't designed with touch in mind windows 8 they're the next generation of windows will be designed with touch in mind, as well as desktop or classic desktop support with a keyboard and a mouse. You're reading YouTube comments? Says Ty Moore. I'm... Yeah. Where have you been? I, I read YouTube comments all the time. Just saw a Pantene advert. Advertisement? What's Pantene? Hair. Hair. Hair shampoo. So I guess I played an ad. I get, you, you guess you played an ad? Mm -hmm. Don't get mad at YouTube. No, don't get mad at Diana either. In fact, she appreciates the likes. It's kind of like, you know, when a, uh, when a fairy dies, you have to clap to make it, you know, live. D Diana lives off of your claps and likes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But she doesn't, if you have clap, don't spread that. That's, get it checked out, really. That's a PSA from, from me to you. Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm not reading comments. You don't say. It says Agent Jude 2 on YouTube. Cyber Tourniquet, what was Cyber uh, Do you think they need to name it Windows 7 ta Table Version? Or tablet version? Uh, no. Uh, no. No. I, I think going with Windows 8 is just fine. Although, now it's kind of like Windows 8, Windows 8 Pro, Windows RT. I don't know why they didn't go with Windows 8 RT, because they have Windows 8 Pro. It just doesn't make any sense. People aren't going to know RT versus 8. They're just, they're going to be confused. I, I hate when big companies confuse people. I really do. It, it just upsets me a bit. Uh, oh, Wow. 200 people watching now. Thank you for tuning into the live feed. Uh, let's see here. I'm rolling down the list. We talked about Google Drive already. Uh, and we'll, if you guys have any questions, feel free to kind of throw them out there as we uh, kind of roll down the list of uh, articles that we've posted on uh, on Locker Gnome. Um, you know, the idea that Google is basically saying that the phone needs to come first and the service is second uh, that's something that you know I've believed in for for the longest time, because uh, it, it the phone is closer to what the user wants. The carrier doesn't care what the user wants. Honestly, the carrier never cares. I mean, is anybody ever fully satisfied with their wireless carrier? We all have you know different choices, really, uh, of what we what we use, what we pick up. Um, you know, I think that when uh, you have a choice for a phone you're going to choose the one that has the features that would best match what you want. In fact, I used to be on one wireless carrier and switch to another wireless carrier because it uh, had um, the, uh, uh, the phone that I wanted. So I'm very glad that uh, Google is doing just this. Uh, I used Orange uh, once when I was uh, in France. Pretty cool. It worked, you know, I, I would say well enough. Uh, the, uh, I, I think the idea though, that, um, you know, the user not being in control of, of their hardware in that device and the service with it, uh, it's just a mildly antiquated thought that the carrier would be in control. And so I'm very glad that, uh, Google's taken, uh, this approach, uh, to, to just 
making things work better for the user. So, uh, you know, whether you like Android or not, uh, this is certainly something that Google is doing that uh, is going to benefit you more than the carrier. And any anytime the user is benefited in the process, I'm more than happy to get behind it. Um, and Google is a great company to get behind, no doubt. So the questions we have queued up, let's see here. Uh, we've got some questions on LockerGnome.net. How to add chat in a Ustream broadcast? Well, it depends. You, on uh, OS X, you could use CamTwist. It's got IRC built in. On uh, Windows, you could use, what is it? Cam, what was it? Cam, I want to say Cam Frog. It's been so long. CamFrog should have support uh, for it. People use different uh, software, though, when it comes to uh, uh, you know integrating elements in their video. Diana right now is using the live YouTube video encoder, so whatever elements she's throwing in here, she's doing by way of the software. Uh, Webcam Max, thank you. I knew there's another one there. ManyCam, Cam Max, there's some suggestions for you. Uh, someone else is asking how to make... I'm sorry, this is... ZBob750, how to make an at me email. Uh, sign up for a mobile me account. I'm sorry, iCloud account. Best energy drink? Asked Johnny j 2 x 44 uh, I'm happy with coffee. Espresso? Dopio? Love espresso. Uh, looking for a site that allows me to build a website, then download the files. Interesting. So I think he's looking for a way to have it generated in HTML and then being able to download the HTML and the JPEGs. I don't know of a site that will do that, but my favorite utility that will help build templates locally for like WordPress or Joomla or Drupal or any of those places, like for your blog, even blogger blogs, uh, Artisteer, go.tagjag.com slash Artisteer. Uh, the Nomis back here may have uh, uh, another recommendation for that on, on that front. Uh, recommend me a good desktop monitoring tool asked by dj scooby doo uh got, do you have any favorites uh for desktop monitoring i just use i mean i use os 10 uh, and it's built in a uh, remote desktop tool of course you know microsoft's remote desktop tool could work just as easily uh you could even use vnc you can install a, a vnc client and uh, you know connect to it remotely and there are vnc utilities for pretty much every platform out there what are the vitamins you take from the Prilog, asks the tech online. By the way, there are two L's in my last name, P-I-R-I-L-L-O, and then you just add a G to the end of it. Uh, I don't know. They're gummy, and they're tasty. We buy them at Target. And we buy them. No, we get them at Costco. Yeah, I guess. They have them at Target, though. Yeah, do they have them at Target? You can get them about, you know, you just get them about anywhere. What is encrypting, asks 740871. Uh, encrypting would be... Let's say you've got a file, and you don't want someone to just open that file and look at it. What you would do is essentially scramble that file's contents and then put a password on it so that you'd have to have a password in order to unscramble the contents to view it. Uh, that's a simplified way of explaining it. Of course, I can go way in-depth, as anybody could, uh, but that's kind of the easiest way to explain what encryption is so it keeps that data more secure and the only way to see it is if you have proper access uh, what camera do i use well for this live feed it's a canon hv40 i don't know if i've talked about that in a while for the vlogs we're using both a modified uh, cyber shot and a non-modified cyber shot and this is the this is the modified one it's got a huge wide angle lens which i used for one shot coming up in the next vlog uh, to be uploaded uh, likely before we go to bed tonight and uh, it, it, it works really, really well. And we just record MP4 files on there, not the ABC HD format, which I've never been happy with. It's kind of a pain in the neck to, to use. Um, but iMovie handles ABC HD files uh, just fine. And that's what Diana's using for, uh, uh, for her video stuff. Favorite type of bratwurst? I, I don't, whatever. I love brat. Isn't that what we're having for dinner tonight? Yeah. Wow. We're going to have, uh, we're, gonna, we're having Cajun. Occasion style? Chicken. Occasion style. Chicken sausage. Cajun. I guess you're going to be able to, to find out what we ate. What about Pixie? Well, what about Pixie? <laughs> I, 
Are you doing wacky stuff with the video again? It's hard to keep up with what the hell she's doing. <laughs> okay, let's check out some more questions here we might have. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, we've got, we had a lot of long-winded questions. Kind of really detailed. Uh... Nothing really is popping out here. I don't know if Nomi's have anything else before we move on. What's a good way to record television? More specifically, what's a good way to record myself playing a video game on the television without the use of a capture card? I don't know or understand what the deal with plugging in your digital camera or something. It says Praetorian by way of YouTube. Um, so if you're going to try to record yourself in front of a TV, I guess I would... Uh, you would probably want to... Lower the brightness of your television. Uh, you could lower the lights in your room. That may not help much. Lower the brightness on your television. You may not be able to see it, but the camera is m far more sensitive to light than, than you might be, at least for that. So uh, set it on a tripod. Make sure your audio works just fine. And uh, you know, record away. Uh, you may have to do a, a couple of takes. You shoot over the shoulder um, so that you get you, you know, yourself playing the TV. Or another way of doing it, if you and you said you couldn't capture directly from the TV, you could shoot the TV straight on, and then you could record an, another with another camera. Your, let's say your face or you playing the game, uh, and then put them together in your video editing tool. And there are many uh, video editing tools that are capable of that on Windows. iMovie will allow you to do like a picture in picture with an insane degree of ease. And I gotta tell you, it, it's it's not just about Apple. I mean, Diana. In your life, you've never edited video before, correct? Right. The first time you edited video was the first Perilog. Oh, right. Ever. Ever. And she did an amazing job. iMovie was that easy. Yeah. I showed her maybe one or two things to kind of get started, and then I just let her do her thing. Uh, so iMovie just works, and I've yet to find any utility that works as easily as iMovie does. And I wish I could. I wish there was an iMovie... Uh, for Windows in, in Linux. Unfortunately, th what I found is just not not that amazing, not that usable. So uh, we've got a question here. Should I get an AMD Bulldozer or a Phenom 2 X6? Asks Knuckles at Rouge. Uh, Nomi's, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, I, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. You know, I am uh, happy that AMD is around. We may actually still be doing uh, work with them at some point in the near future. Uh I didn't edit the family trip to... Oh, he's the video. So we got to wait for the lag to kind of catch up. So if anybody... So, well, Blizzarda won. You recommend Intel, but I don't think there, that's what he was asking. He wasn't asking Intel. That's like saying, should I get a, you know this Mac or that Mac? You should buy a PC. That's not an answer. Uh, JR89 has an AMD Phenom. Apparently, it may still be working. It does all I need it to do. Uh, yeah, I guess it boils down to budget and specific features, which one you're going to uh, be able to take more advantage of. You know, I've had conversations with my dad. Oh, should I get the fastest computer? I'm like, no, why? Why? Why would you get the fastest computer? You're not necessarily going to take advantage of it. Although, he's been watching the vlogs, and he's thinking about getting a new computer and starting to vlog himself. And I'm thinking if we can get enough clips from him, I mean, we may have to help him get some... Uh, training on iMovie to do it, but I think we can get my dad to vlog in the channel. I think uh, he would be very popular in, in his vlogging, and it'd be like father-son vlogging. It's kind of, be kind of nutty. I know, see, exactly, faints. See, you know what I'm saying? They just, they would die to see that. I'd see, I think it's, if I lived there, I, I would I would do it. I'd force, I'd force him to do it. Uh, no, 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 blech. Oh, wait, he was responding to somebody else there, I think, or some other kind of co uh, comment. I don't know. You got to, when you leave comments on YouTube and I'm reading them in the live stream, you, it's got to be relative. I've got to like, what? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Human responsibilities on the virtual frontier. Uh, while we wait for more questions to queue up, uh, this is from a guest blogger, uh, you know, for, uh, on LockerGnome.com, linked in the, uh, for the description for this video. Assuming you guys click links in descriptions, it's right down there, like the other Locker Gnome articles uh, from today. Um, let's just, this is a bit, bit thought-provoking. 
If we are to create an artificial intelligence able to think on its own, then we must also respect it as we are taught to respect other human beings. Ironically, these robots might have the same shortcomings that plague us since we want to create them in our own likeness. People today play games to become people they are not, and scientists create robots whose sole function is to imitate human emotions. Those of us who live in the developed part of the world are trapped in an illusion of control. By playing games, we believe that we can choose our own path. By creating artificial intelligence, we delude ourselves by thinking that we can control creation. Truthfully, we're not changing anything, but simply trying to improve what we think is imperfect. Uh... Are, do, have you guys watched Battlestar Galactica? And I think I, I mentioned this like once a week. Um, I loved that series. Love the series. Not the classic Battlestar Galactica that I grew up with. In fact, I watched some of the old episodes of Battlestar Galactica. Okay, maybe not some of the episodes. I watched one of the episodes and it was so bad. It was cheesy. It was... What the hell is that? Thought I saw my name in red over there somewhere. I... <laughs> Must have been an illusion. <laughs> it kind of worked. Uh, I love Battlestar Galactica and the whole premise, at least with the new series, uh, which you should watch. It's available on Netflix. The entire series, you can watch it. Uh, take a week of your life and watch Battlestar Galactica. This is one geeky nerd tip uh, for me to you. Watch Battlestar Galactica. You will love it. I miss that show. I, I really, I never wanted it to end. It was so good. Uh, the premise was that this took place long before, you know, our civilization evolved. Uh, this was kind of in a, a galaxy, you know, far, far away. Actually, I don't, well, that's Star Wars, really. It's not Battlestar Galactica. It, it happened, but not in our solar system. So, um, at least initially. It ended up that, you know, some things happened and, I don't want to, you know, share any spoilers, but humans, or, or what we know as humans, uh, basically created Cylons, and they they created them in their own image, and the Cylons evolved, and they have effectively tried to wipe out human civilization, and you know this was, it was just such an amazing series. I thought the story was great, the characters were believable. Uh, you know, I can't think, but maybe once or twice I felt like I was dragging through an episode, but, you know, it, it never felt that way. I mean, you can even ask Diana for, you know, some weekends I would just watch episode after episode back to back to back to back to back. To back. Uh, didn't want it to end. Um, so if you're a fan of Battlestar Galactica, that article uh, we uh, we just posted may be interesting for you. And if you're not a fan, watch it. That's my recommendation uh, to you. I, I freaking love it. Uh, what about Capri Caprica, I think, is the prequel? Although it was written a bit differently than uh, Battlestar Galactica, a different type of series, kind of like the the prequels in Star Wars versus the uh, versus the the trilogy that I grew up with. Um, the show is on DVD, but why buy the DVDs if you can watch them on Netflix and you're already paying for a Netflix screaming uh, screaming streaming subscription? Uh, I hope Netflix has the subtitles for it. I don't know if it does have the subtitles. Uh, I Adam Trailers is going to start it tonight. Cool. Uh, ah, Chris and his transparent fourth wall Uber break. Yes, I. There's nothing there, right? I'm smacking nothing here. So I don't think I'm gonna buy the DVD. I'm not a big fan of buying DVDs on on series. Uh, to tell you the truth, what do I think of the two pack hologram? Uh, Tupac, sorry, not pack. That was a very white way of saying it. <laughs> He's rolling in his grave right now. He was buried, right? He wasn't cremated. He's shuffling in his ashes. I I don't know. Does anybody know what, what happened to the body? Did it get like Jimmy Hoffa'd? Or something. He might be still alive. He might be still might be still alive. Mm -hmm. That is a possibility. Uh, they literally scream it to you. They literally scream it to you. Ah. Don't understand. Uh, the social web is distributed. So how do we manage it? Now this is a really cool uh, you know idea that Eddie Ringel has. So check it out. This is the article uh, in, linked in the video's description and. I want the service he's talking about. So wouldn't it be nice, bear with me, if you tweeted something on Twitter, updated Facebook, Google+, YouTube, and you were able to follow all the responses and reply to people on one web page rather than four different websites or four different clients. Because that's what you got to do right now. 
You got to follow Twitter. You got to use a Twitter client. You Facebook. You got to use Facebook.com for the most part. Google Plus is Google Plus. YouTube's YouTube. You can't really do anything, you know, anywhere else. So Eddie has the idea of creating uh, an aggregator service that you could log into through OAuth. So you, you, you it'd be, you know, completely on the level and no need to reveal any of your usernames or passwords. And to have those types of replies in one website. So even if it was just managing replies and responses on Twitter and Facebook, it's better than what I have now. Uh, I would love to be able to do that from one interface because we, we share a lot on a daily basis. Not as much as I, I think we used to because we're, we're not doing as many videos, uh, but Eddie talks about this a bit, uh, a bit more, uh, his idea of what he kind of wants to tackle it or how he wants to tackle it. And I'm all for it. I gave him a couple of bits of feedback uh, and uh, we really want to see a tool like this. I love new tools. I love, you know, when I see startups come up with an idea that I had not yet seen, uh, that's fun uh, to play with new tools. And it's kind of fun to be, uh, you know, at, at the beginning stages of a tool to kind of help it, you know, roll along. Um, and I think that uh, so TweetDeck, yeah, TweetDeck kind of, mm, not so much. Uh, I will call it MySpace. Mm, no, not really. Uh, Chris, is this is an initial idea, like something he, hang on, it scrolled, wants help or such? I don't know. You'd have to look at the article. I don't think he uh, needs much help. I think he's got most of it covered, uh, but it's still quite interesting. Flight Simulator. Uh, we've apparently listed the top 10 paid aircraft there, which I'm not really going to go into because that's why we've got the article on the lockerdome.com. But apparently you can pay, play, you can play virtual planes that you can pay for, uh, including, uh, this plane from an airline that people say sucks. It's a photo on the article. I'm, I'm not saying it. Other people, I just read the tweets. Don't shoot the messenger. Not my fault. Not my fault. Uh, <clears throat> I already have unlimited data. Why do I need a smartphone plan? Anybody? There's a question. Uh, and I think really the answer to that question uh, is in uh, your use case. So I am in the process, and I realize this may make a few of you faint, of getting uh, an Android device that doesn't have ice cream sandwich yet, the latest iteration of Google's Android operating system, but will be upgradable. To ice cream sandwich at some point allegedly in the future who knows when uh and i'm getting it it's it's a phone it's not a tablet uh, uh android computer uh it's uh it's a smartphone but i'm not going to pay for data i'm not going to use it necessarily unless i'm connected by way of wi-fi so why would you want to pay for a smartphone plan for data if most of where you connect is like a home network or a, a wi-fi uh, network somewhere outside your house. Uh, you know, there really is no need to uh, at this point. There are plenty of apps uh, that can get you through as long as your Wi-Fi works. And uh, if you do most of your calls through, let's say, Skype or some other kind of VoIP uh, service, I think Vonage has something on uh, uh, different smartphones, you don't need to pay for the extra data. Uh, where it's going to come in handy is if you're in a location where you don't have access to Wi-Fi and you need to do something uh, with data. And without a smartphone plan, you can't do it easily. So even though uh, you uh, have unlimited data by way of Wi-Fi, you would only use a smartphone plan if you if you really planned on being in places that wi where Wi-Fi wasn't available. Like you're on the road, exactly. Um, you're in the middle of nowhere with a cell tower. Well, it could happen, you know. You, you may not be in an area where you can get on Wi-Fi. And if you need to do something, if you need to communicate with someone, you're not going to have it uh, otherwise. Uh, and even if your smartphone plan, because you've got to get a data plan uh, associated with it, um, that's what they, it's pretty much par for the course uh, in order to be able to use it. Uh, it's really, it's, it's less about iOS versus Android. It, it's not about one smartphone or another comes down to where you're using that uh, device most frequently i say get a, a get a smartphone plan just in case i mean if you've got a smartphone that can handle it uh you're it's kind of like insurance you're paying for the the feeling of security should something uh, bad happen and hopefully it wouldn't um favorite movie speech of all time 
That's an interesting question. Luke SBE uh, on LockerGnome.net. That's very interesting. Uh, Diana, I love the way you're messing up the TLDR. Well, thank you. I don't know how she's messing it out. She's just a kid in a candy shop here. Um, I think the uh, uh, best, my favorite movie speech, God, I've got a few of them. I always like Braveheart, you know, at the end. Kind of gives the speech. That's a good one. Really? You know, if you keep doing that, people are going to tune into the live feed the whole time just to see what the hell you type in there. Although, I don't know, does the red work? Can you see the red as well here? I see, I see the white pretty easily, but... Diana is sitting on the ultimate troll device right now. You can tell Diana what to type. Yeah, the red shows up on Why do I bother really trying to stay on topic? It's not really happening here. Uh, at least not easily. Diana is the new face of TLDR. I'm a bad influence. She's a bad influence. Indeed. Chris, you will get more views. I'm not I'm not debating. Like you can see your Actually, no, the viewers are going down. Oh, we no. had 200, now it's 186, honey. Oh, no. You better apologize. Okay. My favorite movie speech, at this point I would probably say Braveheart. You guys may have a different perspective. Hey, that was the question. I'm just uh, giving you guys an answer. Uh, what else we cover on Locker Gnome today? Seven years later, a YouTube special. Oh. Uh, what? He, why did he link to a Rickroll uh, and Rebecca Black Friday and Nyan Cat and Coney 2012 and Charlie Bit My Finger? It's a bit odd. Well, I guess seven years have passed since YouTube's been around. Will it last another seven years? What would you guys do without YouTube? What would you do? Where would you be? Not in chat. Probably paying attention to something else. Trolling elsewhere. I'm looking at you, honey. What do you think about Apple making a real TV? Asks Luke Spray is here again. Uh, you know, I think, um, I, I, I think they could do it. It'd be interesting if they did it. I, I, I think they're going about it the right way, developing more apps. Uh, the you are not in trouble. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think Apple could make a real TV, but until you know they announce something, I don't think it's uh, interesting really to talk about. The Apple TV itself, the device, uh, it works well enough now. Imagine that Apple TV uh, with every station that had an app in the App Store, like you know the iTunes App Store, uh, where you can get it downloaded to your iOS device. Imagine if that was also an icon in the Apple TV experience. That would be, that would be interesting. And I think they'd be smarter to build that out first and then potentially, you know, go after the TV market. Um, TV market's ripe for disruption, but TVs, I just don't upgrade that frequently. I mean, I upgrade TVs in, infrequently. I upgrade my computers more frequently, and that's not that frequent. I upgrade my phone more frequently. So it's smart to be in this market, I, I think. Smarter to be in this market than it is the, the TV market. It may eventually happen, but... Uh, uh, we don't know. Uh, 15964. So, Chris, when will the Locker Gnome app come out? Uh, apparently, we need to develop it differently because Apple didn't like the way we had it developed. I, I don't know why, really. Uh, they they rejected it, but they said they didn't like it. And so, we're, there's no Locker Gnome app. Sad. Sad. And uh, what? You're done, hun? Are you, are you running out? Your creative juices have flowed out now? You know, this would have been amazing to have when we were doing TLDR with the different breaks and segments because you could have typed it all in and it would have been all cool. Oh, yeah. Any other questions for the audience? I'd love to fill uh, the, the rest of the time with what you have on your mind. After this live broadcast, uh, we, of course, will be popping over to live.perlo.com and chatting with Nomi's there. Tonight's topic of discussion will actually be about YouTube and specifically a couple of YouTube channels that uh, we set up a while ago uh, with uh, different ideas. One is a, uh, a Lego-driven channel, Brick Tricks, with a few thousand subscribers. And then Questions to Answer is another YouTube channel that I thought, you know, why not uh, turn that over to Nomi's uh, and, uh, you know, drive up engagement within the community there. Uh, Darth Vader. Did you do a Darth Vader thing, hun? Someone said I was Darth Vader. I am. Um, let's see if we got any other questions there on LockerGnome.net. How do I completely wipe my hard drive? Asks Snook. Um, you use D-Band, Derek's boot and nuke. D-B-A-N. 
D B A N. That's that's what you want to use. That's the easiest way to wipe your hard drive. Use a magnet, yes, that's another way. Not a foolproof way, but certainly a way to destroy bits. I, I would I would suggest uh, using D band. It's the only recommendation I would uh, I would make. Yeah, other people have apps, but apparently they did them their apps differently than uh, we did the Locker Nome app. Maybe we did it wrong. Maybe we need to find some professional app developers to do it. Creighton did it as his first exercise as, a, as an app, but we were doing it differently, I guess. I don't know why. I would like to do I would like to do a Locker Nome app. Now that we have the vlog, you know, the Locker Nome app should have all that, including the, the vlog, the Perilog. Perilog. We probably need to set up an iTunes Perilog thing and upload the videos there too so that people can podcast it. The Perilog? Yeah, you think? No, you don't think? Maybe? Uh, yep, see, so someone else said D-Band there, too. Sledgehammer, that's another way of doing it. I am your father. No, you're not, because I talked to him right before it streamed, and he's off teaching motorcycle right now. Podrillo, that's funny. Could we have a mobile live vlog? Eh, you know, chasing around live stuff, it's it gets a little tedious. Does Chris still do podcasts on iTunes? Indeed, he does. T L D R. And in fact, we may do instead of pushing these T L D R episodes into um, into iTunes, maybe we should be pushing push, pushing. Maybe we should be pushing the uh, uh, the vlog in there. I wonder what? if we should into into the uh, the Perilog, the Chris Perillo show. Mm -hmm. I wonder if more people would watch it then. It's a guess. It's told we have no idea if it's going to work or not. Uh, <clears throat> too much being a portal to other things. Yeah, see, that was the reason why they didn't like it. So I don't know if we need to set up uh, a, uh, a an app where it's just the the video stuff that we do. That may that may be the case. M maybe it's just the video stuff instead of all the content that we do. Even though the content's the thing that really drives uh, money home today. Can you try to get Joe on the phone today? I can't because he's teaching motorcycle right now. Hackintosh versus Real Mac. We talked about that already. Don't really want to repeat myself. But thank you, everybody, for tuning in uh, for this live discussion. Uh, as I said, we're kind of in the process of retooling what the Locker Room Daily Report is. Uh, you know, not just talking about the articles uh, and the, the discussion points around the articles on LockerDome.com, the day's news, uh, your questions, uh, your comments, you know, kind of playing an interactive a half hour to an hour uh, every day. And so we're grateful that you could stop by. Thank you for the support on the uh, the vlog. Thank you for the uh, the you know the engagement that you guys have uh, driven forward on YouTube and uh, Facebook and Twitter and, and the like. Uh, we really uh, appreciate it. Like you would not believe. Uh, the uh, hope is that uh, we can continue doing what we do because uh, you let us continue to do what we do. We appreciate the likes, the tweets, the retweets, the shares, the comments. Uh, everything, uh, and uh, well, we're not dying, hon. We'll be we'll be back tomorrow. It's not like bye, everyone. We'll miss you. Diana's the one who's talking. This is this is Diana here, by the way. This is I, this is. Oh, now it's not, it's gone. As if I didn't. Thanks. That's just great. Subscribe to the Locker Room email newsletter if you hadn't already. We'd appreciate uh, that as well. And then. Uh, Feel free to stop by the live stream. This not not this live stream, but the next live stream. Uh, we uh, we're going to be having a conversation again a bit about uh, YouTube and what we might do with a couple other channels. Uh, you're welcome to join us though, even if we're not having an active conversation. I've got the home office here streaming live, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At I'm waiting, hun. You're like getting ready to press something. What are you doing? Did you do something? Mm -hmm. I oh. At live. I didn't know. No, let's try it again. Ready? We'll try to time this. Ready to time it? Where I'm not. I wasn't ready to say it yet. Okay. Ready? At live. Perillo. Com. We'll see you later.